Hello there, Candy Babies. What's going on? It's your favorite candy lady, Miss I Candy, and I am doing the review for The Housewives of Atlanta, Season 8, The Reunion Show, Part 1. Okay, so a big old jug of water in the background. You know, you're supposed to do like a gallon a day. <laughs> it takes me like three days to do a gallon. <laughs> That's not even a gallon, it's like almost a gallon. <laughs> Lord, I'm trying. But anyway, okay, so let's, let's. Get this going. So it starts with all the intro to all the ladies and how the little ladies look. Um, uh, Kenya, he said she's got her Beyonce, Diana Ross, and she said, yes, it's Beyonce. <laughs> did y'all see Portia was like, <laughs> no, I did the same thing. Like, girl, about you and not Beyonce. So Cynthia looked nice. She had this poofy dress with this poofy thing. She said she was trying to look like a flower. Um, you know, everybody looked good. Um, I had no complaints about people look. I just think that Candy looks great to have just had a baby. You know, she's up there snatched. Now, I did, however, see the waist trainer or girdle or Spanx or corset or whatever you want to say because it was very lumpy around that stomach area like she had something on holding it together. So, um, she probably still got a little bit of that baby weight on her and it was just keeping this up tight. But I mean, shoot, she just had a baby, so for real, for real, no, no critique about her. I don't really care. I, I feel like if you're gonna wear a dress, I mean, if you're gonna wear um, a waist trainer or something, you might want to wear a dress where you can't tell. You know what I mean? Like the material might have should have been a little thicker. But other than that, she looked good. Uh, honey, you just had a baby. You you're knocking it out. You look great. So um, get start off with like small talk. Who was the shadiest? And they say Shade or Parks. And then they say, who needs a few more lessons? Of course, Kim Fields. Andy said, um, he talks to Phaedra. Phaedra, do you really call Kenya oatmeal pie face? And she was like, yes, I did. And he was like, Kenya, how do you feel about that? I didn't appreciate that. Like, you're talking about my looks. Well, I'm not talking about your looks. I'm talking about your skin. She said, yes, you're talking about my skin. And <laughs> she was like, I don't appreciate that. She was like, I mean, you're a pretty girl, but you got bad skin. <laughs> and she said, it's so calm. <laughs> like. Mm, you know, um, I would feel bad for Kenya. People come for her skin, but this is what's on the blogs. All the vloggers say it. Well, not all of them, but vloggers say it. People blog about it. People tweet about it. You know, you, you definitely can tell that she has, you know, a problematic skin. Um, you know, she just, shoot, I got it. Bad acne. You know, we, we, we all, people go through it, but she has, you know, a lot of problems with her skin. She cakes on the makeup and a lot of pictures that she do is very much Photoshop. But I mean, like Phaedra says, you are a pretty girl, but you do have bad skin. And like I said, I would feel bad for Kenya, but Kenya comes for everybody so much that it's like, when you put yourself out there to be this shady person that reads everybody and comes for everybody, this is what you get. So all fair, right? Can't really say much. So, um... He, Kenya is very pissed about it. She's like, I don't think it's right to talk about somebody's skin, you know. But I mean, you talking about he was husband going to jail, he was kids, he was they butt and that like you, you come for Phaedra. So for real, for real, all's fair. That's how I feel. All is fair. But Andy's like, so you do you think that between your digs and Phaedra digs, your you know her digs are more? And Kenya's like, yes, I definitely feel so. I don't. I, I really don't. I feel like Kenya comes for everybody and she is low as low like she will go dirt gutter low so I find like that's what you get you know you get what you give you give it so you get it like don't come for them unless you're ready to get back and she comes for everybody so this is the, you know what I mean that's the consequences of your actions you know it is what it is so they talk about Kenya hair products and of course you're being shady and was it water and all that kind of stuff and Kenya said that it was water in the displays, but everybody got to give back and they had the real stuff. And, you know, she's very proud of her line because her line will be in CVS in six months. Okay, congratulations to that. Um, <laughs> Portia said that she's actually had her friend try it on her dog and she really likes it. It was like her dog. Oh. Um, they talked about Tootie's panties. Uh, they asked if she felt kind of offended that Candy said she thought she wore granny panties. And she was like, no, not at all, whatever, it's cool. Candy and Todd, they did the flashbacks of their storyline because their storyline was womp womp. I mean, it was cool because they had the baby. So it was really about the baby and the family, and I get it. But, like, in conjunction, <laughs> is that the right word, with the actual 
storyline of like everybody else's story and everybody being together it just kind of didn't really fit you know so it was just kind of like we'll see all this you know stuff and it's like baby trip mama Trey, so Todd, you know and it was like <laughs> you know so i get it but all right so then todd comes out how's the baby the baby's good um todd don't you feel like you shouldn't have been cho choosing business over candy when you stepped out during her doctor's visit uh, how's the restaurant is coming together and trying to get it ready by Candy's birthday? Candy breastfeeds. Yeah, Todd's tried it. Okay, cool. She about Sheree gets on there. They say, what was your first impression of Kenya? And she said, I didn't realize she was going to, you know, come for me like that. But she did. And then Kim Fields, did you bring your kids? No, I didn't want to hear everybody's mouth, so I didn't bring them. Um, then they asked, well, then Andy asked everybody, did they feel like uh, Kim Fields fit in the cast, like on the show? And um, everybody that answered really kind of said no, or they just they explained their their concerns about Kim Fields. Um, Kenya said that she thinks she's better than everybody else, which is so not true. I didn't get that. Did y'all get that? Like I didn't see Kim Fields on the show as coming for anybody or thinking she was above anybody else. You know, she was Kim Fields, dog. <laughs> That's a name, like you know, but she wasn't. When you came for her, she came back. Like, that's all it was. I don't think she thought she was better than anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, uh, Kenya was saying the one moment where Kim Fields was like, if I don't fit in with this group, I'm fine. And Kim was like, I said that because you were saying, everybody thinks you're boring. Like, this a comeback, boo-boo. You're like, well, everybody thinks you're boring here. What was she supposed to be like, oh my gosh, they think I'm boring. <laughs> Like, was she supposed to cry about it? Or was she supposed to be like, well, if I don't fit in with these girls, I don't give a damn. Because I got friends. Like, I don't understand what you want her to say. That's not stuck up. Like, it was it was just, it was you jabbing at her to get her a reaction. And she didn't give you what you wanted, for real. She's like, well, that's fine. Whatever. Yeah, I'm cool. Not fitting in with this group. Um, So then Candy says she feels like Kim doesn't deal with confrontation and they're known to deal with confrontation and Kim just doesn't. Phaedra said that she's not really engaging. At moments she'll separate herself like I'm, you know, she's not engaging with people. Um Portia said she thought that at first Kim would be kind of judgy, like when she was like, Oh, everybody had their cleavage out, like all this girl and Kim was like, I really wasn't trying to judge, it just shocked me. I was like, Oh, this is how they do. Like, you know, that's just not what she's used to. And Cynthia said, I felt like she was more uncomfortable than judgy. Like, she has never been around any people like this at all. So, that's that. They put Kim on blast about her behavior in D.C. Sheree was like, you know, you should have bought, you know, babysitter nanny like Phaedra did. And she was like, I was under the impression that it was a field trip type of thing for our kids. An experience where we can go on tours for our kids and show them black men and, you know, in leadership positions. And she was like, well, that's what it was. But you were leaving. She said, well, my child was crying. I didn't want to be, you know, disruptive for the rest of the tour or whatever. And they were asking her, like, in hindsight, do you feel like, you know, if you could do it over, you regret, you know, not doing it? She said, absolutely not. I was trying to be the best mother that I could be at that time. My priority was to be a mother to my baby. Which I'm... I'm kind of over at this point in time. We know Kim was about her kids and her husband and her family life. So, like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, do I feel like at that time she should have had some help? Yes, she should have had some help because normally her, the help is the husband. So, if her husband could have been there, then he probably could have took the baby out. And she could have stayed. But she didn't have him. So, maybe she should have brought, like, a nanny or, or a babysitter or something to, you know, just kind of help her because you got one kid plus a baby plus you're trying to be Kim Fields on the show and meet these people, these political people. And, you know, it's a lot going on. You needed some help. Boo. You needed some help, especially because you got a baby, you know. Um, what else? Candy didn't get invited to the event. Phaedra said, like, well, you know, she was very much pregnant. So, you know, with traveling and stuff. She said, well, I can still travel in the States. I just didn't get an invite. I mean, y'all wasn't cool. Shit, she ain't invite you. Whatever. She ain't invite Kenya either. I wouldn't invite Kenya either. I don't like you like that. I ain't inviting you. So then Candy and Phaedra's friendship comes up. And it's like, what's going on? So then Candy's like, I think that we're both at a point where we want our friendship to get like it was. And we're both kind of like, you know, they got to tread lightly at this point. I personally feel as if with... Because I don't feel like anybody is in Phaedra's ear 
saying y'all shouldn't be cool, y'all shouldn't be friends. I don't think she has any of that in her ear. However, Candy does. Candy has tied, oh, what's your get my check? Where my check at? Oh, man, Apollo, I ain't seen this kid. I talked to Apollo. Apollo said, like, you know, t Todd is definitely in Candy's ear. Plus, she got Don Juan, like, is that really your friend? Like, how she know about this? What does she know about the baby? You know, she got a lot of folks in her ear, on, you know, on top of her trying to sort out her own emotions about what went down between them. So I feel like it's kind of hard for Candy to make decisions just based on her own thoughts and opinions when you got your husband and your clique in your ear, you know? like So, yeah. Um, and then they talk about just the issues in general, especially after they hash it out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. During the show, they hash it out. But then you see them in their confessionals talking shade or whatever, or talking to other people about shade or whatever. So, you know, feelings come back out. Like somebody sent a tweet like, how you going to let her be at the hospital with your baby and all this kind of stuff and everything she said. And it's like, well, Candy has said some shady stuff too. Like, <laughs> it's two sides, you know, to everything. So... Phaedra had said, like, she was hurt because she didn't know that Candy had Apollo stuff stored. Like, she didn't find this out from Candy, just like she didn't find out from Cynthia. Now, Candy and Cynthia are both like, well, I, we assumed you knew. Like, Candy, like, I didn't think it was a big secret that his stuff was here. But if y'all friends, you know what I'm saying, and her husband, who is going to prison, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you know it ain't at her place, why would you think she knows it's coming to your house? Like, that just sounds like a bunch of bull crap to me. Cynthia, too, like, why would you think Phaedra knows that his car is at your house? Plus, you ladies understand what the situation is. Apollo was stealing money. This is why he was going to jail. He was stealing money. So he owes money to pay this back. So all of this stuff that he's putting in y'all houses, you know, goes to that. You know, like, so y'all are honestly, at the end of the day, y'all are getting involved in some legal shit that is, that is, you know what I mean? Like, burdening on Phaedra because Phaedra is married to this man. So I know the government is constantly at her. Like, we got all of this stuff down for Apollo. We need all of his stuff. We need to, you know, get this money. You got to pay this stuff off. And... She ain't got this stuff. And her mind, Apollo took it. He took it somewhere. I don't know where it's at. But it's at my friend's house. You know, more, more Candy than Cynthia because Candy and Phaedra were friends. But Apollo and Todd are friends. So it's just, it's really, Candy's kind of in the middle of it. And I understand the aspect of it. But you can't assume Phaedra knows. How would Phaedra know that from you if you didn't tell her? You think Apollo told her, oh, yeah, I'm going to have some of my store, stuff stored at Apollo, I mean, at Todd and Candy's house, when they ain't in the best of places right now? Like, no, I think that's a bunch of BS, and I'm calling you and Cynthia on your BS, because that just, it don't make sense to me. Um, let's see, what else? Phaedra uh, has paid Todd the money. Um, uh, Candy said that everything was finally paid a week before the reunion show. And Kenya's like, oh, how convenient. I would have been like, chat, what does this got to do with you? Why do you even have an opinion if it's convenient? Like, I mean, it's paid to Todd. Like, it ain't, it, that's that's what Kim Fitz was saying later about interrupting people and jumping and stuff that ain't your business. Why do you for comment, have a comment on that? Like, I was just like, oh, ooh, Jesus. Like, I would, ooh, mm, okay. <laughs> so... Phaedra said that she hasn't even been able to actually push the thing out because, and it's like, so what is it going to take to get it out? And she said, well, I sent it to the same people that did the other one, I guess the, the distributor or whatever, and uh, they're saying that it needs to be re-edited and like some color correction and stuff like that. So maybe it's a little shade to Todd's co company, like y'all ain't do it right. It needs to be fixed some more. And that's what I was saying in my, my other reviews too, like if Todd wanted the final payment, you got to give product, you know what I'm saying? But then Phaedra has to show up to the meeting to see the last product. But if Phaedra was going through some legal stuff with her husband, she wasn't showing up. It just, you know, it makes sense. Like, honestly, for me, if he, you know, he was complaining so much about everything, he should have probably been in more communications with her when she was going through that stuff with Apollo. But instead, he was Apollo's boy, so he was more so lean this towards Apollo, you know, I would have said, well, you need to use that bike as your payment <laughs> or whatever he had. 
Anyway, um, hmm, what else do I have down here in these notes? Uh, candy coated click. So they talk about the candy coated click, and you know, did she feel like that they was you know coming kind of incorrect? And she was like, no, I go hard for them, and they go hard for me. And Portia was like, Don Juan, really, at the end of the day, Don Juan just want to air time. And I agree with her. I agree with what she said because, like she was saying, he was doing the most. Um, we were having a calm conversation about something, and he jumped in, and then it went from him jumping in the defense to saying that my, my man left me. And I said, well, your man left you. And it just he was just doing the most turn up, which is true. Like, at the end of the day, if Don Juan was really th there to just defend his friend, it would have stuck to that. It would have been like, you know what, y'all? Y'all at my friend's event, and to talk about that right now was really, really messed up. I feel like, Phaedra, to you, if you still have an issue with Candy, then you and Candy should talk about that. But right now, y'all shouldn't be doing that, especially what people that are here to support Candy can hear. Like, he could have shut... As a person that's supposed to be professional as well as her friend, I get handling your business because that's your dog because i got my my friends back too but if it's business then you should handle yourself accordingly and he he was doing the most he was he made it more than it needed to be so um phaedra made a good point um uh, when they was talking about todd because <clears throat> candy is quickly wanting to defend everybody because she she tried to say phaedra want to play the victim won't pity party all that kind of stuff but she always is the victim can you never see her faults or her people's faults or anything and Phaedra made a really good point when she said that Todd was at the same point you know like we should have been out here talking but inside Todd was talking about me to Peter but Todd is out here running his life about me how he want his money and he know to get him with his money blah, blah blah and he's talking but I'm not supposed to be able to talk if he can talk I can talk don't put my name in, my, in your mouth if I can't say nothing if Candy's like you can say it but it has to be true and I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. And then Ford tried to say, well, if it's her truth, and it just was, you know, Candy is not going to see nobody's faults. And, and I feel like uh, at a, it, there comes a point where you have to own up to your part in it too. You know what I'm saying? And that's very true. If you don't want people coming for Todd or saying anything about Todd, Reading Todd, throwing shade to Todd. Todd has to stop as well because there was confessionals of Todd throwing shade to Phaedra all's fair if you gonna give it you gonna have to be able to receive it as well like you can't run your mouth and not expect to get somebody to say something back that that's not how this works so uh let's say what happened they talk about kenya saying how portia you know will down on the candy color click need to make sure they got their insurance up because phaedra comes to people or whatever and they talked about that um uh, which was stupid. <laughs> Kenya starts texting during the segment. And Andy's like, are you not, are you texting right now? She said, well, man, is just asking about the puppy's food. And he's like, uh, fill the bowls out with food. That is the answer. Don't be texting with my segment. Kenya and Kim, they talk about, they do the flashback of how, you know, when Kenya first brought Kim on, it was cool. And then how it just, it slowly went left. So the one thing I did was I took a, a notes of this quote that Kenya made when Kim first came on. Kim Fields is like Hollywood royalty. And she said it passionately like she meant it. But yeah, months later, a few, you know, several episodes after this initial introduction, she's like, Kim Titty Fields, your career is over. But she's Hollywood royalty in the beginning. How she go from being Hollywood royalty to your tootie that's nobody here works since the 90s like you trying to shade her but she's hollywood royalty girl bye you look so dumb you you are so dumb you are so so dumb <laughs> like for real she just look dumb so andy is chewing something and asking the question at the same time and kenya reads like i know you're not chewing something he said yes i'm about to swallow so i'm sure you said that a lot i don't like you're fired you're used to this because you were on the apprentice and the donald said this but i'm gonna say this kenya if you try to read me one more time you're fired girl you better stop when you lose your check stop trying to shade andy before you lose your check i was like it ended up because andy was giving questions this time where he was coming for Kenya a little bit as far as calling her out on her stuff. I feel like somebody just really has to just call her out and not be afraid to do it. So Kim comments um, on Kenya as an actor. And she said, I actually feel like, you know, um, 
it's really go good to see someone like a you know a pretty person be in a, a comedic role, like not afraid to you know be silly and be funny. Because most of the pretty girls just play the pretty girl. So then Kenya's like, "See, you say that, but then you and your husband watches my video and you said this. I think it's a contradiction." And Kim was like, "Well, actually." He was talking about the girl that played your sister saying that someone else should play that role because she's not as strong as you. And I like that she said that because the way they edit stuff, you know what I'm saying? You can take it any kind of way. And, and I believe Kim when she said that. So then um, Kenya says that Kim... Um, She's a, they, they compare the careers or whatever. Like, Andy asked her about the comparing the careers or whatever. She said, I'm not, you know, so well, look. Kim is on a stage where I am the star. Right now, she is the lowest on the totem pole. And I was like, what? <laughs> Did you really just... She's on a stage where I'm the star. <laughs> she said that. Because she tried to take it back later. She said she's on the stage where I'm the star. Well, you got all these other chicks that got peaches up here. And you was like, I'm the star. This ain't Kenya and them. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh, my gosh. This girl is so vain. Seriously. Bravo TV. Producers, you have created a monster. This child thinks she is really somebody. You're nothing. <laughs> we will be okay. You know, when this, this Atlanta Housewife franchise finally goes over and... You're going to be remembered for a shady, messy, a little bit kooky individual. You're not going to have some legacy where everybody's like, oh my gosh, she's so classy. She has this long platform of things and she's just great and she this, that, and the other. You're not. You don't have anything of substance to your career. You were Miss USA in the 90s and everything else after that is like womp, womp, flop, flop. Like you are nothing seriously kim feels yes she was tootie yes she was regine you know like and she was also you know what i'm saying on like other shows as a kid remember her on like different different strokes um she was baby butterworths or whatever but then she's also directed in several like directed several movies she's had guest appearances on movies or whatever but Two very well-known sitcoms, long-standing sitcoms, and we, we know her. Like, when we think of Kim Fields, we don't think of ratchet, hot mess, shady, crazy. That's not what we think. You know what I mean? We think Hollywood royalty. We don't think that about you. And I feel like you were just so, so jealous that you ain't got it like her. So you come for her in the most disrespectful ways possible, and it just, it's annoying. It's so annoying to me. But okay, so Kenya doesn't see the similarities because because they was like, well, don't you see the similarities as far as when you pulled out her chair and, you know, with the whole Portia thing? Because she went on this long thing with Portia going back and forth. And she says she does admit that she was wrong to pull out the chair, but it's no similarities with the Portia thing. And I feel like it was a similarity to Portia thing. The difference is Kim reacted differently. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, once again, got up in somebody's space. It's like you ain't learned nothing. Because when you got up in Portia's space, Portia got up and dragged you. That should have taught you a lesson. But no, you get up in Kim's uh, space. And Kim did. And then she left because she could have came for you. And then you would have played the victim. I was, oh my gosh, she's so violent. And it's like, no, you wrong. You are so wrong. And it's just, it's tiring to watch it over and over again because she plays the victim and cries like she don't get it. And she does get it. You get it. You know, you get it. You know you push people. So Portia pulled her card and basically said that. Like, you just, you know, Kim just didn't react the way she should have reacted. She should have bust you down, which... I, I mean, I'm not saying that Kim should have did it because that's not who Kim is, but I really want to see somebody kick her butt. I want Kim, I, mean, I want Kenya to try it with a chick that don't own TV. Like, I want to read about it in the blog. Like, I want somebody to have a cell phone video that goes viral that Kenya got dragged. You know what I mean? Maybe like a family member in the D, you know, next time she there, 
harassing her mama. Maybe there's more to it that we don't know. And somebody drags her. <laughs> For real. Like, maybe she could be trespassing her mama's property and get beat down. I, I just want to see somebody truly give her the business that she can't do nothing about. Like, she got to learn. You too damn old. It's like, oh my gosh. It's just, it's ridiculous. So, um... What else happened? Cynthia comments and she was like, it's not necessarily about the violence. It's just when you provoke somebody, it can go to another level. All this good disrespect, handling people's face, personal space or whatever, can go to another level. So, a lot of people tweeted that Kenya is jealous of Kim. And then Kenya says, I'm not going to take away that she was a child star. And then she stops and Andy's like, and she's also continue working. And Kenya was like, in the 90s, yes, you did. And he was like, and you were also Miss USA in the 90s. <laughs> like, I was happy that Andy was going because she was trying to diminish what Kim is. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, my gosh, really? She was a child star. What the hell are you? Like, girl, stop. Stop. Like, ugh. So then, um... Kenya was like, I can pay my bills, you know, I don't have any tax liens or anything in foreclosure. And Kim was just like, mm. So they was just going in, they do the whole thing where Kim was like, I feel like, you know, when she says I am Kim Fields, she makes it seem like she's just better than everybody else. And then, um... Candy has said something like, I mean, you try to say she's arrogant and got this arrogant attitude, but you just said I'm the star of the show. She's like, no, I'm one of the stars. No, you said I am the star. So her and Kim feels go back and forth for a minute. And Kim, Kim is just like, you interrupt everybody all the time. And when somebody else got something to say, you're like, don't talk all of me. I'm talking. I'm talking. And, and she does. Like, Kenya is in a, a bubble of her own where she just... It's, it's, it's crazy, Kim. It is very crazy. And I feel bad for you, but I personally like you on the show. I do. And I know some people don't like it because you ain't fighting or you're not reading. But I like it because it's showing us there's another way. You don't have to deal with certain things a certain way. So I'm very, I'm very for you being on the show. I feel like uh, you're doing the thing that Kenya can't stand. And you're paying her dust. You're not giving her anything. She wants to get a reaction out of you. And you've done a really good job of composing yourself. Like, you was like, don't run really. I was like, I know you want to slap the doo-doo out. I know you want to slap the bejesus out of her. I know you do. But you're doing a great job. So, that was part one. Um, it looks like it's going to get good, though. You know, part two and three going to get They're probably not going to bring me into part three. I hope Nene can throw some shade with Kenya and just read her because... <sighs> Kim's not going to be able to do it this season, but like, comment, subscribe, please, guys. Share with a friend, and uh, I'll talk to y'all later, okay? Deuces!